Hey what's going on guys, my name is Quinn and today we're going to be taking a look at this guy, the Byway TW1024 Supreme Leader. This guy is the knockoff version of the Studio Series 61 Sentinel Prime from Transformers Dark of the Moon. Just like with my other Byway figure, this, the original figure for this guy has been out of stock for quite some time now and it has been really super hard to find and Byway released this figure since 2021 or 2022 I think. Somewhere around that, somewhere around that, that, that they release this figure. I have to be completely brutally honest. I'm disappointed with this figure, but I think this is gonna be only issue with my copy, and I'm not gonna make this video long because there's barely anything to talk about to this figure because it's bad. But let's let's just talk about the details. But let's talk about the good things with the details on this guy. Let's take a look at the head sculpt. It is nice, as you can see. It is a brand new head sculpt. It's not based on the original Studio Series, Studio Series figure as as far as I know. And that's called it looks different and it has a much wider range of articulation than the original figure has. I don't have the original figure of of course, but from what I've seen so far, the head articulation is much better down to the chest piece and I do love the cylindrical pieces is back inside the windows. It is accurate to the movie. I love it also as well. And I down to the uh, middle part of the suit, we have some gold highlights, which is nice, and this part is die cast. And then what? Another thing that is different from the original figure is that the chest part doesn't is it's not it doesn't like to easily untest. It is snug. It's not. I think that I assume this is why the die cast piece was made here instead of like the toes or something. It was to hold the chest piece properly. I do really wish that this chest piece that it doesn't fully red. I would wish, I wish that. By the way, added some more paint, like silver or something, like the original figure, to kind of have to make this less barren. But we do have some gold highlights on the shoulder piece, and the hand also has some really nice, amazing mechanical detail. But it is kind of like, it does look nice, as you can see some mechanical details on the arms. It looks nice. And then to the legs, it looks nice. We have some net details and silver part, and back to the toes, we have a 31 insignia and this white strip. And to the back itself, and this guy is folded up. You can fold it up like that, but I prefer it to be folded like so. Kind of give it closing up the uh, hollow back that we have inside there. And speaking of this part, there is a minor, minor flaw with my copy. There has some, they have some nut marks here, which is dirty. You see that mushroom peg over there? It, it allows for some weight swivel and also for transformation. But this guy is uh, fragile to say the least. I don't know if you can see it, but when I try to move it the other side over here, let me just give it closer. When I try to rotate around, the mushroom pack also moves, which is not what's supposed to happen. The only part that is supposed to be moving is this part and this part over here, which is part of the uh, of the chest. It's supposed to be rotated around 360 degrees, but on my copy, it is super, super, super tight. And I'll give a picture of here on transform on the screen right now. I managed to transform this guy for the first time out of the box. But I, the, the way I managed to do that is that I rotated super, super slowly until it, uh, it unsnapped itself. So I can take it off and then just put it uh, the other way around and just transform it into the truck mode. But when I tried it for the second time, it doesn't even want to take off. So. I would be really, really cautious about this. May this might be just on my copy because some reviews that I watch doesn't have anything problem with this guy. So I would be cautious on trying to rotate. So if you got this guy and rotate the waist and the mushroom bag does move the way it m rotates around with the chest, you might be cautious about that. You might need to loosen up that guy. And there's another part that is also tight, which is the arm. You see this hole over there? That is the mushroom pack. Now, if I rotate around, as you can see, yes, it rotates around. But I think that's the underside. Of it. It, it, yeah, there we go. Let me just give a zoom for this guy real quickly. So when I rotate it, it doesn't. Sometimes doesn't want to rotate around. It's super tight. So I will be cautious on the this el this elbow joint over there. The elbow joint. That I want you to be careful if that's if the issue is still the same. The mushroom pack does not move or. Yeah, you didn't want to take a look at that. And also, when I was transforming this guy for the first time, the ball joint on this screen also snapped, but it easily snapped, so not really that big of a deal like the chest part. 
guy also comes with this part, which is the back piece. Now, in the original figure, this is supposed to snap into the back. So as you can see, you have a slot over here that you can tap into the mushroom peg and you can snap it like that. But unfortunately, on my figure, this is super tight. It doesn't want to snap in. So it is easily removable. I had to sand it down the inside of this to get somewhat of a snap. But yeah, it's still not a perfect fit. It's still not a perfect fit. It doesn't want to even snap in, which is very, very unfortunate. And it is also back heavy, as you can see. It is also back heavy a bit. So let me just take a look at this guy real quick. You can unsnap it like this also as well. And you can untap this to make it rotate downwards. But in the original figure, there's a hinge joint on the middle that makes the top part fold it down and snap into this slot. It's been completely abolished on this release. Next, you also get his his part forming sword. He also gets his part forming sword. And this guy is looks amazing. This is what it comes with in the original figure. So you can see to the paint and and uh, there's no paint actually. My bad. The, the sculpting is nice. And you can untap this and plug in to Sentinel's hand, and it is secured. And it is very very secure. Doesn't it's not loose at all. And I do like this. So this is one of the accessories that I actually like. Because this is from the original figure and you don't need to send it the hand down because and it is a perfect fit You don't need to send the hand down, which is nice. I appreciate that one That's nice. This figure also comes with a goodie bag This goodie bag and I'm gonna open it up for you guys in a bit. First of all You got the instruction manual of course as well. This is based on the original studio series figure As you can see it is exactly the same as the original Studio Series figure. It is a bit blurry than the original Studio Series figure, that's why I never use the instruction that Byway gives because it is just super blurry and I don't really understand what it's saying. But you do get this thing, the cape piece that also came in the movie, which is super nice and you can snap it right, right same as the mushroom pack before and you can snap it into it. The same thing happened with the back piece. This guy doesn't want to tap in. Doesn't want to snap in. It just stays there. Doesn't want to snap in. It's also a bit trouble. I haven't had the time to send this down. I have sent it down quite a bit, but it doesn't want to snap into place. But just hollowly, this guy looks looks amazing. Tentacle Prime looks amazing with the back piece, and I really do wish I could snap this guy in. Next, we have the shield, the big ass shield over here. It does look nice. The sculpting is really nice. The, the metallic silver that they use is really, really good. They have some gold highlights and some red highlights also as well, but it lacks the tattoo that Sentinel Prime Shield has. And there's, there's unfortunately, the holder itself. You need to hold it like a blaster instead of an actual shield. So it kind of makes an awkward poses, as you can see. It holds it like this. It doesn't hold it like a traditional shield. However, you can rotate the hand. You can rotate the hand so it makes it look like Captain America or something, but it still looks ugly. You cannot put some more some good poses with that. So yeah, I think you can break this off and then just glue it back down, uh, painting downwards. But you can do that. I'm not gonna do it because, quite frankly, I'm just a bit disappointed with the shield. Next is we have his sword, the actual sword that is supposed to act cut the accurate one, and this also has another issue. So there's a though this is split into two blades as you can see but there's also the middle part which holds them together but it is super loose it is super loose there's no effort in taking it at off so I would recommend to glue out the loose part so let's say say this part and then this is the loose part and then you super glue it together because quite frankly you don't need it to be separate you just need one that needs able to snap off so you glue that into place and then when you want to plug the sword in you can just snap one side and then snap it in which admittedly it does look nice but it, because of that looseness that it kind of hinders the posability sometimes because it, it falls off when I'm trying to pose it so I'd rather use the original sword that it has that the, from the original figure and also that sword can also plug into the shield with two, these two tabs over there. So you can tap in like so. And it is a bit tight, but you can just send it down if you want to. You can just snap into place. And I have tried once, and one sword does snap, but it is a bit tight. You need to, might need to send out the inside of your first. And then next, we have his rust cannon. And this is not, this is the more good. Accessories, but still it's pretty disappointing because 
the lack of paint itself. This guy lacks the paint, only some red highlights. And the plastic quality is... it feels cheap. It feels cheap, but eh, I think I think in terms of inclusion, I, I'm actually surprised that they included this at all. And then you just snap into hand, and it looks nice. It looks super, super good. You can pose it with iron height together. But I'm not gonna do size comparison for this video because I am just, I'm just not tired of that one. Next we have the mushroom pack, and this was to be come snap into here. So you untap this, you snap this mushroom pack in to that slot before, and it's also a bit tight on the inside, and I do I'm disappointed. But you can just snap into there and you can bring his K piece and just snap in it together. But it, of course, it is super tight. It doesn't want to snap in. Nice. I can just uh, there we go. It works. There we go. And you can just put it together with Sentinel Prime. So there's no parts forming at all. And it looks super ugly, in my opinion. So I'd rather have the K piece attached to this piece. So, but it is an option for those of you who doesn't like parts forming. And I. Don't, I'm just gonna take this off because it's pretty ugly. And the last is this piece. So this is supposed to be uh, some kind of hook, some like a, I don't know, some some sort of thing. And it is it is it's pointy, so make sure you're careful with that. In the in the CGI design, you're supposed to put it on the right hand, but it doesn't snap or into the right hand, so you can only snap in to the left hand. And it's not accurate. It's not accurate at all, and I don't like that, so I don't use it. But you can also hold it in. You can also hold it. Sentinel can hold it. Nice, but it just looks dumb. Overall, I'm a bit disappointed with this guy. At all. Like, at all. I'm not gonna cover posability and size comparison. And even transformation for this guy. I might make a separate video on transforming this guy. But I'm not gonna show it into this video. Because, I'm, to be quite frankly honest, I'm a bit discouraged. I was really looking forward to get this guy. It, this was given by my best friend. My best friend bought it for me, and I am super disappointed by this guy. It has so many tight bits and some loose bits on accessories, and some, quite frankly, honest, fragile pieces. Which are like this doesn't want to tap. And it's too tight. The chest piece is super tight. The arm, the elbow is super tight, and I'm just a bit discouraged on actually making this video. That's why I've been holding up for so long. It's just not a perfect figure, and I don't even want to make some more sections after this. And to be quite frankly honest, I am disappointed with this figure. Disappointed as in that it doesn't look like it doesn't work out of the box. You cannot just play it, you have to fix it. Unlike the Ironhide and the Megatron and even Optimus Prime, the Biostar Leader, you can just take out and play it without any tightness or yeah, of course they have some loose bits of course and the arms snapped off. But at least before that before the snapping count before the snapping happens. You can play it, you can play it at least a little bit and just pose it around and you can transform all of them out of the box. This guy doesn't, he transforms once and doesn't want to because of that tight on the chest. And here we are two hours later with the transformation mode over here. It's still, I'm not gonna, this is because I can transform it doesn't mean I, it will change my opinion. It still sucks, I'm still very disappointed, I had to literally uh, take off the chest piece just to transform this guy, just to rotate this, but in terms of truck mode, it looks nice as you can see it has some painting 316 and some rosenbauer logo and which is pretty ballsy for them so yeah in terms of truck mode this looks integral it doesn't really roll that well even on hard surfaces because the wheels are tight but yeah that is just my quick review of the shark doesn't gonna change my opinion on the whole figure but i'm still pretty disappointed with it but the shark mode itself is really solid and i am i'm actually disappointed i don't know how i i don't know how i feel about this i don't know how i feel about this disappointed yes but also happy that the amount of accessories that, that we got and the details, I, yes, I'm happy about that too. So I'm, I'm a bit torn out. I am disappointed, but also I'm happy. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, let's just say, okay, let's just assume that I am disappointed. I'm disappointed with this figure. And this, of course, based on all of these reasons, this might be just a co an issue on my copy. But if you can... Okay, like I said before, if you don't have this problem, and or if you do have a problem, you might need to take, take a look at that and be slow. But you don't have that, all the same problem as me, then I think this is absolutely worth it. The transformation on Sentinel is actually pretty good. It's super fun, and the truck mode itself looks super nice. So, if you don't have any of the issues that I have, then yes, this is an absolutely worth it figure. It's pretty good. 
but for me I can't say the same thing because it has so many issues on my copy the so many super tight bits the fragile pieces and everything like that because it's a knockoff that's why I'm really, really careful about it so yeah that's gonna be my final thoughts if you don't have the issue that I have that I have like I said before then I think this is absolutely worth it this is super good but I would I would also tell you guys to be cautious when you get this and just take a look at the, the chest the elbow and this piece over here because this has a ball joint on the, on the feet so I don't want to take you know, I want to take a look at be cautious about that I'm not gonna cover it anymore this so yeah that is gonna be my thoughts on this by way supreme leader I hope you guys find this useful and yeah thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys next time